Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. I present you with another video, but this one is different than my regular content. This is the first time I'm doing something like this. I hope you like it. Alright, so as you can see by the thumbnail, I think Naruto vs Sasuke is the best, and I mean the best, anime fight ever. Or I've at least seen if there's a better one. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, you're probably sitting there like, but Nick, what about Taj Rusasuke? Or even, Taj Rusasuke, or even the first Naruto Rusasuke! I know, those those are good. And they're definitely in my top five. But, Sasuke and Naruto, the final battle, just has a lot to it. But, like all good stories, and good fights, and good battles, let's start at the beginning. So it's episode 474 of Naruto, chapter 691 for you manga readers. I got you. But Team 7 just defeated their strongest enemy yet. The final boss, the end game. They're not the Avengers. They're all gathered around talking to the Sage of Six Paths. And he's about to send back everyone that, re that has been reanimated. And we see a heart-to-heart -heart moment with Naruto and his father before he's sealed away. And we learn it's Naruto's 17th birthday. The Six Paths sends back to reanimate people and tells Naruto and Sasuke they have to make the Yujin sign. But, but then Sasuke, on the other hand, has different different plans. Man uses his Renegon to get the power from the Tail Beast. <laughs> what a fucking savage. Um, and he wants to execute the Five Kages, which... I don't know why he's doing that. There's no point. That's just extra shit. Anyways, he takes control of the tail beast and gains their power. At this point, the six paths is fading away, and he knows he won't have much time on this earth. So he leaves it all up to Naruto Uzumaki to stop Sasuke and Chia. Sasuke wants a revolution. He wants to be the new Hukage. Hukage? Haha. <laughs> Hokage of the village. And then traps all the tail beasts in that one pain jutsu. Uh, 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 shit, shit, uh, yeah, right here, right here, alright, alright, um, it's called the, uh, Shabuku Tensei, and the Six Paths realize this is just Ashra vs. Indra 2.0, Sasuke's about to do another infinite Tsukunomi, I guess, but now it's all like, you're not going away with this, so Sasuke tries to leave, and Kakashi tries to stop him, but he's too weak for Sakura. For what? <laughs> he's too weak to stop Sasuke, so Sakura goes off. You're just gonna leave again and do this to all of us? Like, t stop! I will change your plot! I will fight against you! I will fight with you! Wah, wah, wah. Then my man Sasuke says, You really are annoying. And puts her in a genjutsu. Like, bruh, this man is a badass, yo. Sasuke, you. Sasuke is the most non simpest man on this earth. Uh, but Sasuke and Kakashi talk about how and I was like, blah, 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 all this stupid fucking shit. Uh, Sasuke just leaves and says to Naruto, you know where to find me, which is the Hidden Valley where Naruto and Sasuke had their first fight. So Sasuke says he will become the next Hokage. Naruto says you don't know how to be a Hokage. Then Sasuke claps back. My definition is different than yours. Then Naruto says, let me tell you what your brother said. The one that the Hokage gets a knowledge the most. Uh, then we get a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, background music. And Sasuke starts going on about how Itachi was used by the village. And he sacrificed himself for his clan. And he just wants to know why it was supposed to bring peace. And he said, but it did nothing. And he hates the leaf for using his brother. And he wants to throw away the past. And start a new life. And be the Hokage. His brother should have been. Naruto tells, tells Sasuke, you can't do this alone. And, the, and then he tells Naruto, with revolution, the villages won't have to bear darkness anymore. 
He says he's casting off the past. Naruto snaps. He says, you can't cast off your brother like that. We all had a bond. I've learned a lot from the past. You just can't get rid of it. Sasuke is like, you know what? Let's just fight. Let's find it out. It's tired of you. Now, now this is where the fight comes together. This this is what this is the shit I love. A leaf falls onto another leaf. And that starts the fight. But it flashes back to Naruto and Sasuke back in pre ninja school battling it out, running at each other. And they both run down the statues going through the past selves, and then they come together in the middle, both blocking their hit. Which let me just tell you, that that part that part is beautiful right there. They, they both mans literally block their own hits. Then they go in their fight, blocking each other's hits. Sasuke takes out on the hand signs for the fireball jutsu. <laughs> One of the most fucking iconic parts. Oh my god. Okay. Um, but Naruto dodges it. Naruto then tries to make a shadow clone, but he keeps failing to make the sign things to Sasuke because Sasuke knows that's his strongest jutsu. Hundred IQ Sasuke right there. He won't let him do it. But eventually Naruto gets to do it and barrages Sasuke enough to get him down. Then he tries to hit him with a Rasengan, but Sasuke, of course, whoo, dodges that. Then fights off Naruto's clones. Then Sasuke uses the power of the Renegon and does that one pain move. Then says, Inferno style, Hono Eka Zazuchi, which is pretty much Amaterasu, but stronger. But Naruto blocks it with his Kurum power, and then they have a like Dragon Ball Z type fight, which is this part's kind of weird, but like it's still kind of good. It's Susano versus Nine Tails. Uh, Sasuke is about to go for Injur's arrow, but Naruto is ready to hit that with a Kurum Rasengan thing. Their attacks collide, makes a huge explosion, destroys the statues, and creates a hurricane thing. Uh, a tornado, I guess, but not really a tornado. Funnel cloud, that's what they're called. Um, bodies fall and hit the ground. Both men weak. They're practically out of chakra at this point. Sasuke tries to hit Naruto with an Amaterasu. But Naruto blocks it. He blocks it with his nine tails chakra. Then Sasuke tries to use the power from the tail beast, but he's overused his Res Renegon. Not Rasengan, his Renegon. He don't have a Rasengan. And Naruto hits him. They use up the rest of their chakra with cherries. Cherries? It says cherries in my script. This, this ain't a lie. I'll put it in the video. It says cherries. It's supposed to be Shidori. What? 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 what, 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 what then they use up the rest of their chakra with Shidori's and Rasengan's, which both fail. Naruto goes for a Rasengan and falls to the ground. Then Sasuke kicks him onto his back and goes ham on Naruto's punches. Yet, he still wants to keep going. And then Sasuke... Okay. Then Naruto headbutts him and throws him away. Which then Sasuke at this point realizes that Naruto isn't going to give up this easily. And that he's not done yet. He still wants to keep going. Then Sasuke keeps up and they run at each other. Screaming each other's names where they both meet with a punch and then gets to my second favorite part of this fight. There's a compilation of fist to fist combat. They're throwing up blood, spitting out teeth, screaming. This is beautiful. Like, this part is beautiful. More animes need this type of stuff right here. Because it really shows the emotion and toll that they're putting on their bodies to, like, actually fight. And then Sasuke punches Naruto back to the past. And we get a little backstory their hatred and how they did not want to make the union sign when they first battled back in the pre -nation. Ninja School Academy. Then Sakura wakes up and Kakashi tells her that they're fighting their final battle. Here comes another great part. These guys have been fighting for so long, it's night. They can barely stand. They fought from sunrise to sunset. Eventually, they both throw a punch and Naruto's headband falls off. Both men are at their knees. Then Sasuke uses the last of his Renegon power to steal Naruto's chakra to have enough power to hit him one last Chidori. But before he hits him, he says, Now, I can finally be alone. Farewell, my one and only friend. But Naruto uses his headband to see when his shining gun would deactivate and hits him with an uppercut that sends him flying into the rocks. Now, this shit, Nar- Look, I know I just said Sasuke has 100 IQ, but Naruto has 100 IQ. Now, he stole that shit. 
This shit is wild. Yo, they wild down here. They they literally like wild. Sasuke comes out and says over and over and over and over and over again. Just give up and let me cut you down. Not to response with. Sorry, can't do that. Sasuke just stares. Cold blooded. He's done with Naruto. He's like, this kid needs to give up. And then makes an Amaterasu Shidori. Then Nine Tails talks to Naruto. But Naruto holds out his fist for a fist pump. And Kuruma gives one back. Let me remind you, this is his dad's Kuruma. This this Kuruma hates like literally everyone. This Kuruma is a little bitch. Alright? I don't fuck with the Kuruma. Alright, he's a little bitch. I, I fuck with him now, but like he's a little bitch. Hates everyone. Because he's stuck in this little kid right now. Like, bro, just shut up. Shut up. They bonded over this one fight. Then he tells Naruto to go get him. Then he leaves him the rest of his chakra for one more Rasengan. Both men sprung to each other. On Naruto's side, we see everyone that's acknowledged him. Acknowledged him. You got Shikamaru, Sakura, Jiraiya, Hinata, uh, Nechi, Kakashi. You know, everyone else that's important. Sasuke gets someone. His brother. Then, and then it shows a shot of them going through their past selves, then meeting in the middle with both the Rasengan and Shidori. They collide. So this is a beautiful scene. This is iconic to me in the world of anime, and always will be. It shows that no one cared for Sasuke at this point. No one had his back except for one person, his brother. Everyone cared for Naruto. This shows their lives very well, but they collide so hard they go into another realm. This realm helps Sasuke a lot. It helps him realize that Naruto is really just like him. And he could have had what Naruto has now if he didn't search for power to defeat his brother. Naruto's life right now is what he really wanted. Naruto is also with him. And they go through their past memories with each other. And how things should have changed. But Naruto's not there for long. Because he's already found his happiness. Sasuke has yet to. But this helps him realize he should be there for Naruto and acknowledge him and care for him instead of trying to make a new world and be the new Hokage. Eventually, Sasuke wakes up. He realizes he's lost his arm and Naruto says not to move or he'll die. Sasuke has asked Naruto, why do you keep going after me? Naruto answers, because you're my friend. Then we get all these flashbacks and Naruto explains why he's considered Sasuke as a friend this whole time. That's a lot to explain. Then Sasuke falls back to... Then Sasuke realizes how much Naruto actually cares for him. No one has cared this much for him. Then Sasuke falls back to sleep. And has more realization about Naruto. He realizes that he was better than him. In a lot of ways. And how he should have cared. And how happy he is for him. Then he sees all of Naruto's achievements. And everything that he's have done and then everything that has happened to him since he's been gone then he sees his brother talking to naruto telling him not to forget your friends then they both wake up and saw that they slept till morning sasuke tells naruto that they failed to die again then naruto wishes he could punch him but he can't he was hoping he could punch sasuke's eyes open sasuke is just laughing off and tells naruto he's lost Naruto starts yelling at him. Then Sasuke just tells Naruto he's acknowledged him. Then tells Naruto to unseal the Tsunami if he dies. But Naruto says, not that way. You're going out. If you want to die, die by helping me make this Shinobi world at peace. And Sasuke says, what if I go against you again? And then Naruto says, then I'll just fight you again. But Naruto knows he won't go against him again. And then we see Sasuke shed a tear. A tear of sorrow, a tear of sadness, a tear of joy. Then Naruto says, you've always been pretty stupid. But Naruto sees Sasuke is crying and says, shut up you loser. Then Sakura pops up and tries to heal uh, Sasuke and Naruto. Sasuke apologizes for everything. Not to just Sakura, but to apologize to Team 7. Sasuke uh, tells him he should be, then calls him an idiot. Then Kakashi realizes his team is back. Not gonna lie, I did cry right here. I mean, I cried like half this fight, but this is where I mainly cried. 
I'm glad to see my favorite team back together. This whole thing I just read watching that, like, it, it, it was an emotional road show. A lot of talking, yes, for like two episodes, but um, I cried for those two episodes. I love this fight. I love this part. Shit, I'm even like tearing up a little bit making this part. Like, god damn, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Claps. But it's it's over, but it's like not over. Then they make the Yuzhin sign and everything goes back to normal. Kinda. Uh, Sasuke goes to prison for being a road ninja. Naruto trains and studies to become the Hokage. My boy become a Hokage out here. Kakashi holds his place for him as the Hokage. That's why Kakashi is just the Hokage for some reason. Naruto and Sasuke gets arms for Hachirama cells, but Sasuke is like, I don't want that shit. One of the biggest, like, what the fuck's moments in anime's history. Like, come on now, it's a free arm, take that shit. Sasuke leaves to go hunt down more Otsushukis and people that are like Kagura. But you, you, you might be asking me, why do you love this fight so much? Because this fight has been hyped up since the first episode of Shippuden. There's so much emotion building up. Then it finally happens, and you get everything you've asked for. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Them overpowering each other. Sasuke realizing who he actually needs to be. But you realize, neither of them are strong in each other. Naruto won in the end because of his ninja way. Because he believes in himself. Because he wanted to get Sasuke back. But Sasuke didn't have any of that. Sasuke is like cold hearted and only cares about getting revenge. Naruto really cares about his friend and wants to prove everyone that he will get his bond back. And he did, baby! After 678 or so episodes and 300 fillers. And he can show everyone that he's done it. Naruto is beautiful. It's, it really is. It is one of my favorite animes. Aside Kami Ga Kill. Your Lion April and Attack on Titan. But Naruto did a good damn job being a good anime. I've rated the whole series a 9. I love this anime. And I see Baruto being just as good. The manga is really killing it right now. The anime. I don't. It's a spice of life right now. But like. Once all those fillers go by and you finally get your. You know, canon episodes. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be amazing. The manga is so amazing. And Naruto's doing fine right now in the manga. Because he has the protection from Sasuke. And Sasuke and Boruto has that thing like how Dry and Naruto had. Sasuke is training Boruto. That is so beautiful. I want to thank Swag Kage for making this idea happen. I watched this video on the fight Sasuke vs. Naruto, the original, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna make a video like that. And then, here it is. Here you go. <laughs> here, here you go. Uh, I'm gonna link his channel down in the description. Y'all should go subscribe to him if you like Naruto. Uh, if you guys disagree with me, put it down in the comments. Go for it. If you don't think this is the best fight, tell me. I will read every single comment. I also want to see what you guys thought of this kind of video and this kind of content. I know only like 69 of you <laughs> will be watching this, but let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought of this kind of video. Should I do more of these? Should I like not? Should I go for the zombies thing more? Should I like do other games? More discussions on anime? Up to you guys. But um, that's about it here. I uh, hope you guys have a good night. I love you all. Thank you guys.